Most farmers don't sell in the supermarkets in Africa. So there aren't labels on the products to know what type of product you are buying. But you as an individual, if you care so much about the type of foods you eat and you want to be sure of what you are putting into your body, then the right thing to do is you have to resort to only buy from the supermarket where the labels are indicated, whether it is organic or inorganic, ladies and gentlemen. And even with that, we hope they are not lying to us. However, the majority of our people just buy from the local market. And so, if GMOs one day comes with any health-related problems, most of our people will automatically be affected. Take, for instance, in Europe, the most common illness is cardiovascular diseases, which cause heart attacks or heart diseases leading to deaths. The most fundamental cause is hypertension or what we normally call as high blood pressure, which is also caused by the type of food one eats. Then they also have diabetes as one of the common illness in Europe, also caused by eating the wrong type of food. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, is hypertension and diabetes a major problem in Africa today? The answer is yes unfortunately this is the list of african countries with the highest records of hypertension cases nigeria south africa ghana kenya egypt drc tanzania ethiopia zimbabwe and senegal majority of which grow gmo seeds and this is the list of african countries with the highest recorded cases of diabetes still south africa egypt sudan nigeria ghana and tunisia I am not saying these foods are the reasons these two diseases are prevalent in Africa. I am saying we need to decide the type of food we put into our bodies.